And since it's the first day of spring, I thought that I would show you um, what's going on in my little garden. So two weeks ago, not this week, but last week, I planted the little garden boxes. And right in here, these haven't come up very much yet. Not at all. I planted some little onions. You can kind of see right there. Some green. It's starting to come up. Here is lettuce. All these little bitty green sprigs that you see right there are lettuce. Oh my gosh, we can make a salad. These, see all of these? These are radishes. I love radishes. And if you look in my little garden box, I think that the little squirrels do too because they've been digging little holes there. And then over here, I have some carrots growing. I know, carrots. It's so exciting. So that's in this box. And then I have some flowers, of course, because um, we need the pollinators to be in the uh, garden. This flower right here is called an Angelina and it will get beautiful, beautiful purple flowers on it. That was a present from um, one of my friends last year, Audrey, she's in first grade now. But um, that was a present from her. So let me show you. In this little bucket right here, I planted some morning glories and morning glories are flowers that like to grow on a vine so they're going to grow and they'll grow up this little light post that's in my backyard and morning glories um, they open up in the morning and then they close in the afternoon when the sun gets too hot isn't that amazing look right here these are all cucumber plants and if you look, remember when we were learning about pumpkins and they're the seed leaves that start everything, start making the food for the plant? These are the seed leaves you can see because they're smooth around the edges. But look, these are the leaves that show me that plant is going to be growing and making some cucumbers. So maybe in a few weeks, we'll have some blooms on the cucumber. So I planted three cucumber plants and cucumber cucumbers they like to climb so I painted this trellis it was white and I couldn't get it clean so then I painted it yellow because in my backyard I have yellows and blues and then these I have other flowers in um, that box to help attract pollinators this is pretty exciting in this box I have different kinds of tomato plants these are all tomatoes, different kinds of tomato plants. I've never grown some of these. And so when I saw them at the, um, at the plant store, I was like, hmm, I'd like to try that. The very um, back one is called an Arkansas Traveler. Look how big and happy and beautiful it is. And it makes very big, big, big tomatoes. And this little plant is called a Sugar Rush. Look how they grow so many of those little like little cherry tomatoes. And then these, this is like a little cherry tomato plant. These are bell pepper plants. I love bell peppers, they're so crunchy. I like to cut them up and put them into salads. Mr. Owens liked for me to make bell peppers and he liked to put like hamburger with different stuff in it. And then you cook them in the oven and he would eat them. And if you look real closely, look right here. There's about to be some blooms on it. It's going to make flowers, and those flowers are going to turn into the bell peppers. But this is pretty exciting back here. Look at all of these bean plants. I planted beans, green beans, for Michelle because um, she needs to eat some really good, healthy food. And so I planted all of these beans, and beans like to grow too. And look right here. This is pretty exciting. Look how this came up through the dirt and it pushed the dirt. And the seed was inside of there and now that's, that has leaves and it's gonna open up. When we come back to school, we're gonna plant some bean plants. That's one of my happy days at school when we get to do that. Let's walk over and check on those watermelon and um, strawberry plants. Oh my goodness, my blossom 
was there yesterday, and now if you look very, very closely, there's a little strawberry starting to form. Do you see it? Oh my goodness. So those strawberry plants are doing good. Look how tall the watermelon plants have gotten since first we filmed them. Let me move that leaf out of the way. I can still see the seed leaves underneath there. Can you see them? So there are the seed leaves that got that plant started. Let me get, let me get to it. Oh, where is it? It's hiding. See the seed leaf? It's smooth around the outside. But then the leaves that are gonna start actually getting that work done on making those watermelons, it's right there. Those flowers are doing good in there too, aren't they? They're getting tall. That's pretty exciting. So the first day of spring. What are you doing on the first day of spring? You know, if your mom has some, just some regular like pinto beans in the garden, you could find a little place in your yard that has some dirt and you could plant those uh, just little regular beans. Soak them in some water and that will like uh, get them ready to be very soft and to get growing. And then you can start your own little garden while we're um, away from school. But when we come back, I promise that's one of the things that we're going to do is make us uh, plant some little plants and get them growing. So I hope that your first day of spring is fantastic. I love spring. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite season. I love to watch things grow. And then it's so exciting just to go in your backyard and just pick something that you've grown and eat it. So happy first day of spring, friends.